I do what I want. I don't know if you knew. I do what I want. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. Our Pokemon are looking in pretty shit, ship, shit shape. Not ship shape. Ship shape is good. Shit shape is bad. So I'm gonna hit this super repel. Try and find my way off this fucking mountain before uh, anything else goes wrong. I'm just uh, kind of hoping to myself that I remember the way. It's not been that long, so I should remember it just fine. And I think it's somewhere down this way. Somewhere out there beyond the seas. Yeah, this way. Uh-huh. Can I jump down? I guess not. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You tricked me. Mm, there's probably a way to get over to that ledge, which is very likely what I would want to do. How about just like this? Yeah. There we go. Don't be a retard, Dayton. Oh, hello, lady. I probably shouldn't have talked to you because my Pokemon are almost dead. Hi there. Like what you see? N not really. It's gonna be like a stick am whore. Yep. Tranny Bailey. Oh god. <laughs> Look at the bulge. <laughs> oh no, in between. That That's a uh, sensible thing. For this trainer to have. Let's try that bullet seed out. I still really don't know what uh, to make of this thing's types, but bullet seed seems to work okay, so we'll roll with it. Whatever, dude. I would like you to hit more than twice, Douglas, if that's okay. Moody made accuracy rise and defense fall, which is a good thing. So we're gonna hit even harder. Wait, no, we're not, because charm. These things always know charm. I'm not charmed by you. Get the fuck out of here. I want to hit you in the face! <laughs> you got five seconds to step away from me. One, four, five! And that's, that's how I count to five. That's how I count when I'm uh, talking to my kids. I'm like, I give you ten seconds. One, three, seven, ten! <laughs> and she's like, Daddy, that's not how you count. I'm like, sit in time out. <laughs> no, I don't have to do that. She's so well behaved. Let me tell you about my child. Let me just gush for a minute. Oh my goodness. What a good little girl. She's like, I helped you clean the floor, Daddy. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even help. <laughs> you just kind of did it. That just kind of happened. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you? Oh, she's got three Pokemon with her. My goodness. Cheerly? Okay. We're gonna take this one down too. Teeter Dance? That's not good. That's gonna give me some confusion. I'm gonna be all confused. Probably end up making out with the tranny. The, uh, Mr. Mime in my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke was named Tranny, which is pretty funny when you think about it. I also had, uh, an Ambipom named Handjob, which I caught one of those, like, hand snake things and named it Handjob. I don't know if I'll end up using it, but, uh, while I was leveling myself up, I was like, eh, I'll just use this, why not? We'll see if we like it. So... Pretty good damage with the slam. I'm gonna go ahead and fake this thing out. And then, I don't know, Feint Attack or Bug Bite? Does it look like a fairy type? I'm not really sure. Doesn't matter, that thing goes for Charm, which uh, just lowers the attack. It's just, just gonna extend the fight even more. I don't know why you would do this. Well, my Feint Attack is not very effective. I'm gonna switch the fu fuck out of here. Hmm, I hope I'm not getting hic hiccups. That would not be good. And here comes a drain kiss. Oh god. I don't like it. All of a sudden I miss Gremlin. I was talking all that good shit about how Gremlin's not good enough and this and that. And then uh, I need her for the, the drain kiss and the liquid ooze ability that she has. But we'll see if Douglas can break through confusion. Please let it happen. Oh. And uh, three bullet seeds if you please. I would really much appreciate. Thank you so much. Good jab. Good jab, little guy. So, uh, I don't know why I keep getting into fights. I'm like, hey, we should really get off this mountain. I'm gonna get fucked up, and I just keep pushing it to the limit. I guess that's how we, uh, keep, keep the suspense going around here. Douglas wants to learn Razor Leaf, which is a pretty badass move. 55 power, but it has a high critical hit ratio. So, I guess I'm gonna get rid of Sand Attack, because, uh... We want to do this based on merit, not just accuracy, drop, spam. 
But uh, I might end up regretting that decision a bit later. Who knows? Trow bait? I thought this thing was water. Hmm. Let's try out our razor leaf. Oh fuck! Douglas is still confused. God damn it. Douglas punches himself in the face! False swipe, at least that's kind of, uh, kind. And Douglas also snapped out of confusion, which is super nice. False swipe is not gonna KO me, which is cool. And, uh, Razorly fucking decimates that thing, so no problem. Douglas, I knew I picked you for a reason. Well, I like what I see. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye. I got Repel for just a little while longer, so... Try and find my way out of here. There's the nerd we fought earlier. I guess that's all there is to see out this way. Repel's effect wore off. That's fine. We're basically out of here anyways. No problem, kid. I guess I need Surf to get that uh, treasure chest over yonder. But I said uh, in the ending of the last episode that we were going to get some gym action in this episode. I assume it's a water gym. But uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. If it is a water gym, once again, Douglas is going to start shutting shit down. He is the fucking man. He's the manliest man. I want to put Kim in the front just because I really do like this little Pokemon so much. I'm partial to Rattatas um, above all other starter mammals. <laughs> they give you a lot of rodents. It starter rodents, but uh, Rattata's my favorite. And uh, Squirrap kind of reminds me of a Rattata in a way, but he also likes to rap, as do I. I don't like rap culture, but I do enjoy rapping as uh, a form of mental exercise. Anyways, champ of the making, take this! Fresh water! Alright, now you gotta rub my shoulders, right? Let me give you some advice. The leader, Tumblerita, is a pro who uses water-type Pokemon. Yep. You could drain all their water with grass-type Pokémon, or you might use electric-type Pokémon and zap them. Well, I might do either one of those, indeed. But instead, I'm gonna put Kim in the front and be like, Go get him! Go get him! Vicious as shit! Hold it, you're pressing me! Tumbleweed in this entire gym by setting foot in here! Time to put you in your place! Fucking white cis male patriarchy lover person- Oh, Jesus, look at that. Feminist Luis. My goodness, could you just button at least a couple buttons on your shirt as a favor to everyone here? My god! Terrifying. So Talur is out here, gets slashed in the face, uses block. I think the, the thing with Feminist is like, you know, uh, in a pack of wolves, the alpha male is challenged basically every single fucking day, and your, your, your girlfriend or your... Uh, female acquaintance, if it were, is trying to, to challenge you by fish fishnism? What the fuck is that? Some kind of ovary monster? Anyways, uh, they're trying to challenge you, basically. And the alpha wolf kind of just fucking bites the other ones, and he's like, get the fuck back. And then the other wolves go, okay, I was just checking if you're still in charge. That's how I think it is, uh, when, when women, uh, try and basically call you a, a sexist chauvinist and tell you how to sit with your legs not spread and shit like that. They're just trying to test you, you know? If you if you say, oh yeah, I better check my privilege and keep my legs shut, then they go, ha, oh, fucking got him. But if you go, fuck you, you cunt, I'll sit how I want, then they're like, oh shit, okay, I guess I know who's in charge then. At least that's my, uh patriarchal white male view on things. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> oh ho ho. Let's have a, a battle here as well. Tumblerita will kill all the rapists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, rape is bad. We can all agree on that, probably. But some people will probably call me a rapist. They're like, well, how'd you meet your wife? And I'm like, I started talking to her, and they're like, rapist! You shouldn't talk to a woman. You wait for the woman to approach you. No, that's not how it works. Society hasn't worked that way in thousands of years. Let me tell you how it goes. Gremlin's getting some of that disgusting EXP from these nasty Pokemon. Did you rape my Pokemon? N no I would never. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> you said what I said. My name is Tumblerita, and are you staring at my fishnism? You are! 
You're staring at my precious Pokemon. Stop harassing my Pokemon. I do what I want. I do what I want. I don't know if you knew. And it is a uh, sandstorm again for this gym leader, which is pretty cool. I'll take it. Whatever. Did -da -da, did -da -da. I could fucking wipe the floor with uh, my anal gi, but I'm going to try and give some other Pokemon a chance. Ooh, Pecker's going to take an Ice Beam. Now he shrivels up because that's what happens to my Pecker after, after it gets exposed to cold weather. Cold weather challenge. It's not normally this small, but he got Ice Beams, you see. Let's see if Wing Attack can KO. Not quite. Not quite indeed. Please live, little Pecker. You're, you're gonna do great things. Alright. He's on the edge of his seat now. I'm really surprised that that level 16 Pokemon was able to take my Pecker down so low. Gremlin is now level 21. Thank goodness that she's trying to learn Sludge. I should probably learn that because, uh, I don't know. Smog's not doing great. Acid is, uh, one of my favorite moves, but it's not dropping the spec D like it usually does. So I'm gonna replace Smog because it also has the secondary poison effect. Uh, Sludge Bomb, I mean, has the secondary poison effect. And it has more power to it, which is super nice. So SJ Whale is out here, which is not good. I don't like it. I'm gonna go into Keck now, see if I can uh, bring this thing around. I didn't expect that shit to have Ice Beam, honestly. It was quite a surprise. I should have seen it coming, though. You know, these fucking, uh, these water types. They always got those tricky moves up their sleeves. Water's definitely, like, one of the best Pokemon types. Yeah, you see this fucking thing? More Ice Beams coming my way, and I'm frozen. Oh, God. I think they have the, the Ice Beam mostly to take care of the Grass types. Which is, uh, probably a good idea. I, I... Don't necessarily want to use an ice heal, just because it's not going to uh, do much good. Kex only got one hit left in him, anyways. Hmm, this is a tricky one. I guess Kim is gonna have to show these girls how it's done. You ain't gotta be a bitch, a tumblerita bitch. You gotta be like a gangster bitch, bitch, etc. Oh, there's the confuse ray. That's not very nice. I I hate confusion. It's one of the trolliest things that somebody could do to one. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice Pecker here. Sacrifice my Pecker to this SJ Whale. <laughs> SJW Whale! And she got the Water Pulse on me. That's fine. We knew it was gonna happen. Now I get the free switch back into Kim. And uh, the confusion will also be gone. I've got four Pokemon now against her three, so... I'm gonna have to be a little more careful. Hopefully I can get some crits. <coughs> Pardon me. There's a, a Water Pulse. Luckily no confusion there. I know Water Pulse can cause confusion. Uh, maybe I should try Sing on this thing. But I don't really have a whole lot of wiggle room against it. Like if I miss my Sing, it's gonna get uh, a horrible attack against me. So we'll just keep slashing. God damn, there's the fucking the freeze hacks again. This time I am going to use my Ice Heal, just to keep Kim on her feet, and uh, I'll take whatever she has to the face, I guess. There's a Water Pulse. Please live. We got room for one more Slash. Do it. Crit. Crit. Nope. Uh-oh. She's been triggered. And she took down Kim. You see? these Even the gangsters backing down to people who are like, I'm so triggered! I'm so triggered by what she said! Just gotta be like, bitch, get on my face. Get on my face. I'm the alpha wolf here, alright? Uh-oh, here comes the trigger again. Whoa, it's super effective. That sucks. I think Sludge is gonna be able to take this thing down. Not quite. Oh, God. Who could have seen it coming? Well, Water Pulse, luckily I don't think it's gonna do as much damage. Just barely survived that shit. Scrape out that, that thing with a tackle. Wow, that was close. Okay. So, she's got a pray Praetor now. I don't know what this thing's supposed to be. I don't want to stay at anything. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a glare at it. But it has Aqua Jet. So, definitely faster than Gremlin with its priority move. Gremlin goes down. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not playing with this shit anymore, alright? I'm gonna send out Douglas. He's gonna get some fucking razor leaves going in your face. In your fucking face! Critical hit. Look at this. Douglas doesn't play around. His name might be Douglas, but he ain't funny, kid. <laughs> I've been waiting to make that joke. And there's a Caroline. I don't know what this thing is supposed to be. Definitely flying type, so hopefully it's not gonna hit me with any, uh, any nasty flying moves. We'll see what Razor Leaf does against it. Maybe it's flying in water, right? Yeah, it seems to hit neutrally. So, Feather Dance is gonna lower my attack. I think harshly, yeah. So, attack is lowered by two stages, which really fucking sucks. And, uh... Yeah, Razor, Razor Leaf is still hitting okay. Unfortunately, this thing also has Peck in its moveset, which, uh... It's going to do quite a bit of damage against Mr. Douglas, so I'm going to switch to Decker. That should even the, the even the odds, and if you use Peck again, then I'll be fine. And if you use a water move, I'll be fucked. So hopefully she doesn't have a water move on her. But we shall see. I don't think she does, because uh, here comes the Feather Dance. That is also not a very creative Pokemon design. I do like a lot of the Pokemon designs, but uh, this is definitely not one of them. Oh, Pursuit is the fourth move. <laughs> what the fuck ever. Get out of here, weak-ass gym leader. Give me your fucking badge. Give me the password to your email or whatever. Can't believe I was beaten by a patriarchal asshole. <laughs> True. A misogynist. You'll never get the justice badge while I run this gym, you rapist. <laughs> ah, it's too funny. No, seriously, give it here. What do you want? Can't you see I'm complaining about you on Tumblr Mobile? I don't care, give me my badge. Y you want to apologize, really? I just want to stare at you blankly with my hand out until you hand me my fucking badge. Well, I guess I could forgive you. And then she shakes my hand. It's like, th that's not what I was going for at all. Here's your justice badge. Okay, thank you. Wonderfully done. Hooray, take this too. Oh, many gifts. Many gifts! What's TM3? Tumblrita is ignoring you because she's posting about social justice on Tumblr. Okay, I'll just I'll just look in the TM case and see what it is. Stupid bitch. Water pulse. Yeah, that's not too bad. I was hoping for Ice Beam or something like that, but can't win them all. What'd you think about that, Unibrow? You beat Tumblrita. See what I tell you. You and me, kid, we make a pretty darn good team. Yeah, whatever. I did everything. I did it all! It was all me! And it seems the uh, southern path has been cleared out, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mosey on down that way, see what this here mystery holds. I thought I'd have to go chase down Misty, uh, but I guess I'm remembering Cerulean City in Soul Silver, where you have to go like catch her at the Cape or something like that. Hey, this is our new spot, man. Okay, well, can I go south then? We got tired of training at the same spot day in, day out. Feels good to the change of pace, bro. That's true. You shouldn't do the same thing every day, unless it's making YouTube videos. <laughs> no time for battle, only cardio. I got some cardio for you, girl. What you wanna do? What you wanna do with this right here? Alright, everybody's at like 21, 22. We'll probably meet some uh, high level trainers out here. Because it's a new route, and that's always a scary thing. Let's see what this dude has to say. Check this five! F five what? Five Finger Death Punch? That's a pretty good band. Weeb Yugi. Oh boy. Here we go. No Knight. I don't know what that thing is. It looks like It. Known It. That's what I'm going to call it. Let's just go ahead and try a wing attack on it. It's level 22, which lets me know I'm going to have to... Uh, level up some of my Pokemon here, eventually. But it makes me really sad when I level them up off-screen because, uh, I'm missing out on, like, evolutions and things like that. My first reaction to evolutions, which is, is usually just pretty meh, you know? <laughs> but, um, what if I get a really awesome one and get super excited about it? There's a Fluff Yeti, which definitely has, uh, an ice typing. Let's go into... let's let's take Gremlin real quick. We could get her in here. She can prove if she's worthy to be on the team or if she will be left in the PC box forever. 
This is it. Show me how you do. Wow, that's that's a lot of fury swiping. Could you stop? Five times. Max amount of times. There's Ice Shard. Please live. My god. I thought Gremlin was gonna be like a tank Pokemon, but uh, she's not turned out to be that quite. And I did poison this thing, but it's uh, not looking too good. Let's try out Kek. Kek can take the hit when he comes in and then get some like free fake out flinch damage. And he's also not going to take super effective damage from Mock Punch. Because uh, although Dark type is weak to fighting, he's also got the Bug type, which resists fighting. So that's pretty nice. There's the flinch. Go ahead and let that poison damage tick away for just a second. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's a good combo right there. And a little bit of faint attack for you. Baboosh. And poison will take him out. Hell yeah. I do like the poison. Y you can't deny that. That's useful as shit. Gremlin's soaking up most of the experience here. Uh-oh. And there's that, uh... The Jewish fellow. Let's go ahead and bug bite it. I can't remember one way or the other. If it was, uh... Dark type or not. He's got a big sack of pokey on his back. And, uh, I got confused, which hopefully I'm going to be able to work through that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I am. And Bug Bite seems to be doing super effective damage, so we'll stick with that for now. He sets up a Snatch, which uh, I think is a dark type move. I'm not too worried about it. But I do hit myself in the face anyways, so, uh, yeah. He'll just set up another Snatch. And then I'll be like, okay, no more confusion. Bug Bite is shit. Is Snatch gonna, like, really hurt, or what's gonna happen? Oh, nothing? That's good. <laughs> Payback, it's doing less damage because he's moving first, and it's also doing less damage because I am also a Dark type. Ha ha ha. Top Keck. So I've got uh, a hard counter for those uh, Chantruth Pokemans. And Gremlin is now level 22. Weeb Yugi has been defeated. Eat fresh! What? Are you... Are you spokesman for Subway? What the fuck? What just happened? Excuse me? Alright, I'm gonna take this EXP share from Gremlin. You don't need that shit no more. If I at least had my Exodia back. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. Please don't talk to me. Oh, here's some berry trees. Delicious Chesto Berry! Is that like wake you up from sleep? I'm 90% sure that's what it is. And now I've got two of them, so hopefully I'm not going to run into any, uh, sleep-inducing Pokémon. Here's the Pokémon Daycare! Hell yeah! I'm the Daycare Man. I help take care of the precious Pokémon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokémon, have a word with my wife. I don't actually do anything except stand out here. Oh, well that's nice. I'm the Daycare Lady. We can raise Pokémon for you. Would you like us to raise one? Hmm... Maybe I would. Fine, come again. Let's, let's look in this box here. We can leave something, right? Let's move Pokemon. And, uh, look at this. I got Curicrow. I got Mei Mei. I think Mei Mei deserves to, uh, to be trained up. It's only level 2 at the moment. So, yeah, shift these. And can we fit two? There's Handjob, the Spanky. Snowball. Oh, he's got an Aspir Berry. I can't take it from this screen, so I'm not going to bother with it. Foxy, Donkey P, Baitin, the Trowel Bait. Let's grab the, uh, the Donkey P. I think that might be pretty useful if, uh, Fried, Fried Den ends up outliving its usefulness. So let's place that. Hopefully we can fit two Pokemon in the, in the daycare. And if not, then whatever. Whatever, we'll just go move one Pokemon back. Please raise the dankest Mei Mei ever. I trust you, old person, to make a dank meme. <laughs> Come back for it later. We can raise two of your Pokemon. Hell yeah, you can. I also got journalism. Because journalism is poison that flies through the airwaves. Get it? That's, that's poison implying. Donkey pee. Alright. So they got two of our Pokemans. I'll probably never come back for them at any point, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't actually care. <laughs> Withdraw my uh, my two little preciouses. 
that started this journey with me? Weren't scared to take the ride with the Dayton does? Hell yeah. Gangsters. Gangsters! Alright. How you doing, old man? You're, you're the dankest in journalism are doing fine. The two prefer to play with other Pokemon than each other. Well, yeah, because journalists aren't dank. Fake news, bro. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Pokemon Clover. We shall continue on in the next episode. And uh, our our maymays and our journalism is going to fucking skyrocket through the roof. We're going to level that shit up and uh, maybe even come back for it someday. But it ain't going to be in the next episode or probably even the next one. But we will see what the uh, next town holds, I do hope. And hopefully, like, no more caves, spelunking, and all this madness. Anyways, I thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy, join us next week. I've been Brandon Dayton, friends. This has been Pokemon Clover. I will see you then. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four... Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends